I love passing ladders. We do this a lot because the service becomes really important in the path and there's a lot of pressure. Um, you're going to serve, in our practice, sometimes it's only eight balls. If we don't have a ton of time, maybe it's ten balls. Um, if I had a manager, I would have them target. It just depends on how many people you have. Um, if I had multiple courts, it's a little easier. Um, but regardless, however you want to set it up, you're going to serve eight balls, okay? Um, and you can put in rules. If you miss, maybe it counts for the passer, or it can count as a miss, uh, or it's a reserve, kind of whatever rules you want. But if she gets a good pass, it's her point, and we're going to see how many out of eight she passes. Let's do for time's sake. Let's just say five, okay? Five passes <laughs> here. Uh, let's say misters don't count today. Here we go. Nice serve. So she's 0 for 1. 1 for 2. Usually I'd replay that because I feel like that's kind of luck. <laughs> Nice job. So we're two for three. All right, so you get the idea, right? So whatever we get, seven out of eight or whatever. And then we'd switch, and she'd serve, and you would come pass. And then the winner gets to move up. So uh, if I had another court here and more people doing this, I would get to move up if I won, and the loser would move down. Okay? Over there, winner would come up, loser would move down, or she'd just stay if that was the lowest court. Um, we do passing ladders at least once a week because it tells me who's our best passer and who are our best servers because there's two sides of that. You can be a great passer, but if you're a terrible server, you're probably not going to win this drill. 